Simmons, so this is for your boys over here. I know that they were a little concerned about comps of Bellagio. So let's at least show them one interesting thing about the property that isn't fountains. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Okay, we are lined up right now because of social distancing protocols, because of the you know what, the thing that if I say it, I'll get demonetized. But anyway, we'll show you what it's like in here. Going into the fall exhibit in the Bellagio. All right, so here we are here, guys. We are at the Bellagio Conservatory finally, and we're getting to enjoy their fall exhibit. Let's take a nice, calm walk around. <laughs> Some of the best places for photo opportunities, but you have the lovely bees in the tree over here. And then you got old Winnie the Pooh up here. Bears with the honey. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, really good construction, really good material. I'll probably be mate, thank you. And then, oh my goodness. Look at those mushrooms. Looks like the ones from, uh, <laughs> what was it? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, yeah? And then you have the coleus flowers here. Now this is one of four exhibits that they do every, every year. They were cutting back on the exhibits this year due to uh, cost partially and also due to the sea, you know what. All right, then we also get to enjoy the koi pond over here. The big bee for Bellagio. But more importantly, the koi pond here in the center. Very popular place to be right now. All right. Oh, they have these lovely fairies out there too. I'll show you guys in a minute. Probably not gonna spin around the whole blasted thing just to show you guys the fairies. But there we go. Detail on these acorns is outstanding. I'm never, I never fail to be impressed by what the botanists do here. And I'm no botanist, I just know what I like. Oh, it's just such a nice place to walk to. Good place to walk through. Here we go. All right. And yeah, look at the detail on this ferry over here. Love the wings. Love the leaves there. Kind of wish they were real leaves. I think these are plastic, but I think that's fine. Sure, would be a lot harder to clean up real leaves too. I think it looks really good. All right, come on, have a look at that. That is great. That is great. That's a thumbnail right there. All right, let me get to enjoy. There are trees here, guys. I really wish I knew more about botany so I could tell you guys a little more about these exhibits, about the Ragonias and all that. But I am not much of a botanist. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. Maybe I'll pop up a fun fact or two on the screen while we walk through. But, yeah. Outstanding place to be. Very calm, relaxing music. Good place to take a little walk. And it is helpful that uh, they can kind of socially distance people in here. I'm going through a little faster than I normally would, but it is nice to have some breathing room here instead of constantly having to kind of push your way through 
my other tours haven't been nearly as good because I've had to push my way through. And now I actually get to enjoy this a little bit because I don't have people breathing down my neck. Now I get to see the little details. I get to see the fog machines here that the fairy's trying to dip her hands into. I get to appreciate the pond. You get to see the waterfall coming out of the, the house over here. You also get to see the other lovely fairies with the flowers, and then you get the, uh, the one with the cardinal over here. And then more and more Ragonias, I think. I think they're Ragonias. Again, I'm not much of a botanist, so it's hard for me to say. And I even have a little bit of space to read the lore. Ah, here it is. And then coming around, we get to experience the big fairy stump in the center, as well as all the mushrooms. All right, and now we finally get to walk through the stump over here. Feels like you can almost reach, I mean, don't reach out and touch the, the plants, obviously, but they look like they'd be so nice to reach out and touch. The level of detail here is outstanding. Wow. Sunflowers. That's made of sunflowers. We've got a little nine bark over here. I think that's nine bark. I don't know. Oh, hey, look at that. The sign tells me. Oh, and they even have a little mini art gallery in the center. With, of course... Oh, the fountain dead center in the middle, too. Could stand a little touch up in the middle, where they have the uh, <laughs> where they have the water running down, but otherwise not too bad. This is a fall 2020 shot, and then we get to come back out. Definitely the best uh, Instagram photo ops, I'll tell you guys that much. And then we got the brown bears, of course, too. Shoutouts to the bears. And I don't even know what these things are, but they're kind of nice. Oh, coral bells, okay. Learning things, definitely learning things. Yep, and then there's the wise mother tree with all the honeybees. And then here we are at the end of the conservatory. Thanks for visiting. All right then, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time that we come back to the Bellagio, I think we should take a look at the hotel as a whole as we explore the history of the Bellagio with a proper tour. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Las Vegas Viva